It's just a quick video to um, demonstrate how to do a quick time screen recording that still captures the uh, system sounds. Um, specifically in this uh, in this video, we're going to be using Logic for that, but it applies to all sorts of software where you want to capture the the system sounds during your um, your screen recording. It's quite easy, obviously, to to capture what's coming into the microphone, but it's it's quite complex to uh, to be able to also screen record system sounds. But this video will show you exactly how to do that. Um, I'm using a Mac, using OS X, um, uh, Catalina, and the first thing you guys are going to need is a little bit of software called Black Hole. Um, so this is available um, on GitHub, and uh, you just download it from here. I'll put the address in the comments. We're going to click on Download Installer. Um, you'll find that you need to give them a um, an email address. And uh, that's all pretty straightforward, though it is completely free. Um, so it's, it works really well. Uh, so once you've done that, you'll end up with a little installer file. You might need to right click on this. You probably will um, in order to open it um, because it's not a, an App Store app. So just open it like that and follow the on screen instructions. Um, OK, so uh, once it's installed, it's not an application, it's an audio driver. And we need to set a few little things up. So we need to go to the audio MIDI setup on your Mac. Just type that in and there it is. And we're going to do two things. We're going to first of all set up something called a multi-out, multi-output device. Here it is. And this is really important, guys. You need to make sure that um, your MacBook Air speakers um, is enabled and at the top of the list of, of things that you've got here. Now, I'm using a little Scarlett uh, USB audio interface as well, and I want that to be part of my process because I'm using Logic with that, and I want um, uh, I want to be able to use that. So be, even if I wasn't going to use the MacBook Air speakers, you've got to have them lit up like this. Okay, we'll do this next, and we're going to make sure that Black Hole, which is the software we've just downloaded, is also um, enabled here. Now then, um, for the master device, uh, I'm going to use my Scarlett. All right. And we're going to use for drift correction, we're going to include everything apart from the master device. Okay, don't worry if that sounds confusing. Just for drift correction, that just keeps everything in sync. Just make sure you've got these ticked um, uh, with for everything apart from the uh, the master device. Okay, so that's kind of done now. So we're going to add a another thing called an aggregate device. And this is like a sort of giant input that combines the input of all sorts of things on your computer and um, it combines them into one sort of input. Um, so we are gonna, we don't need to worry about MacBook Air speakers at the moment for this, for the aggregate device, but it's very important in the multi-output. It has to be at the top of the list and lit up. Um, but I wanna be able to take input from my Scarlett. Um, I wanna be able to have it from the MacBook uh, speakers and also from Black Hole. We need Black Hole in both things because that's the kind of glue that ties everything together. All right. So the clock source will be Scarlet, and I don't need drift correction for that, but I better put it on for the black hole. We don't need to worry about the speakers here. All right, so that's cool. That is basically, actually, um, actually it. A few other things that we need to do. Um, the logic is bouncing around here asking me about something, so I do want to use the multi-output device. Um, yeah. Thank you very much. So it's just said changing that. I'm going to go into Logic though and just double make sure that it is, double check that it is. Um, so I'm going to go to Logic Pro, I'm going to go to um, Preferences and Audio. And yeah, so it's outputting into a, into the multi-output device, which includes um, which includes Black Hole, which is great. So that's fine. So that's going to work well. Um, now then. Uh, the other thing you want to do just quickly is go to your system sound and a little, little where is it? Go to sound and make sure here that your output device is your multi output device. There it is, it had defaulted to that for me already. All right, so that's good. Um, one last thing if, you, if you're using an interface um, when you're doing your screen recording, um, and you, you might not want a uh, system sounds coming back out through the microphone where you're playing. Um, I'll show you what I mean a bit later in the video, but um, basically a little trick you can do is go down here and just turn your speakers volume down 
here. Oh, sorry, wrong one, down here. Okay, and that will stop the, uh, you can't prevent the audio going to the MacBook Air speakers because of this little weird thing where you have to have them in the, in the black hole, in the, the multi-output, but you can turn them down. So it doesn't really matter. All right. Um, okay, and then the next thing we do to make our screen recording is we go to um, aggregate device, we go to QuickTime, and we make sure that that is on aggregate device as the input. And then you can make your screen recording and you can play your keyboard and Logic will make noises that will be captured by the screen recording. Now uh, I've got that all set up and I'm just going to go into Logic um, and uh, I'm just going to play this, just check the system sounds working. And that should be included now in the screen recording. There we go. Okay, so that's how you can uh, make a screen recording in QuickTime and record any of the system sounds that you want as well. Um, as I said, in this case, using Logic. Um, hope that was helpful. Please, please, please subscribe to um, the uh, the channel. I'd be really grateful. And I'll keep you updated of loads more uh, um, tutorials and stuff that I'm planning to do over the next few weeks. All right, cheers. Thank you very much.